During the boating life cycle, the time will come when you may decide you want to sell or even upgrade your boat. Of course, everyone wants the best return on their initial investment. You may be curious to know how to maximize your return. Skiers Marine, we desire to be your trusted education source. Hi, I'm Greg. Today I'll walk you through how to get the best return when selling or trading your boat. There are a lot of reasons you may want to sell your boat. You may want to upgrade to a newer model. You may need something larger. Uh, you may be getting into a different type of boating, for instance, fresh water to salt water. You may have come across some financial constraints. You may no longer have the time or energy. Buying a good brand that someone will want to purchase down the road. Don't buy brands that are not popular in your area. You want to buy a brand that has a good brand perception. First and foremost is a private party, just person to person. You can trade your boat, which will have definite benefits as far as tax implications go. You can sell your boat wholesale. Uh, wholesale is usually much quicker, but you're going to get a little bit less money for your boat. NADA Guides is a great place to start, but it's not always 100% accurate. We also recommend looking for comparable boats for sale and taking an average of all those listings as a starting point. Please understand when you're listing your boat, you want to leave yourself about a 5 or maybe even 10% variance over the amount of money that you expect to get because people do want to negotiate. List your boat in as many places as possible, especially the free ones. Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace are fantastic places to start. List your boats under the average of all the comparable boats that you find. Finally, if it really needs to sell quickly, contact your local dealer or wholesale to purchase your boat from you directly. Each state has its own requirements, so we recommend visiting your state's Department of Motor Vehicles or Wildlife Department to see their exact list. Every state will require a bill of sale signed by both parties. It's good practice also to give each party a copy of each other's driver's licenses. Also, running an OFAC report on who you are selling the boat to can keep you out of major trouble. You can do that free on sites like instantofac.com. Some states are title states and will require transfer of that title. Be sure to know if your state has an e-title process and request the paper title to give to the new owner. For non-title states, an MSO or a manufacturer's statement of origin may be required before the new owner can register that boat. As you can see, many factors affect your boat's value, some of which you can control and some economics and legal issues that you cannot. While this is not a comprehensive list, we invite you to visit our blog at skiersmarine.com for more detail or reach out to your local Skiers Marine.